It's the worst of the CBC for November 7th, 2019, the show where I watch the CBC so you don't have to. All right, we're going to start with the biggest omission, but then we'll get into some mismanagement over the Ukraine and Epstein stuff. So Stonewall Collegiate High School in Manitoba has suspended two students for refusing to wear the rainbow poppy and instead wanting to wear the standard red and black poppy. Who could have predicted this would happen? Oh, yeah, that was me last night who predicted the exact same thing. So I said last night that this isn't a creation of the gay community, the rainbow poppy. This is a manifestation of the radical left. And the purpose of the rainbow poppy is not to honor gay veterans. It's not to disrespect regular veterans. The purpose of the gay poppy is to divide the people, create division, and push people into the radical left or the uh, anti-LGBT community to push more people into the radical left. This is a divisive creation. So two girls were suspended because I wanted to wear the standard poppy. Now, in America, this is a clear um, violation of the First Amendment. It's a public institution censoring free speech. In Canada, because we don't really have free speech, we have freedom of expression if, if, if these categories. Now, I do think this is a charter violation. I clearly think this qualifies as political speech, the type of poppy you choose to wear. Um, I, it's a clear violation. Now, there's another aspect of this. Had these girls just refused to wear any type of poppy because they were anti-war, right? If the, as a peace protest, they were protesting all types of war, they didn't want to wear a poppy. Do you think for a second they would be suspended? Do you think for a second they would be suspended, refusing to wear the rainbow poppy or any other poppy because they hate war? No, of course not. And they shouldn't be. Now, people fought and died for your right to not wear the poppy. That's, it's, it's hypocritical. It's disrespectful. But you can do that. And it's clearly within your rights to do that in the country. By the same token, you have, they fought and died for your right to choose what type of poppy you want to wear. You have the right to put on the poppy, which is so blatantly obvious, but not to Stonewall Collegiate in the north of Manitoba. So apparently the girls refused to wear the poppy. They were then suspended. Um, one of the girls tried to record her being suspended. Apparently she was screamed at and they were threatened that if they took this public, there would be even worse consequences. And good on them for taking it public because this story needs to be told and not a single word on CBC News, not a single article on CBC Online, not a single mention of this clear charter violation under the guise of friendship and rainbow poppy. So this is, again, what's the point of the mainstream media if they're not going to cover the news that's important to Canadians, right? This is a public school violating the right to freedom of expression of two people. This You think this is important to cover? Again, so... I'm going to reiterate, this is not a creation of the gays. And a lot of gays I've seen are pissed off about this rainbow poppy because they clearly see that this is not a gay agenda. This is a radical left-wing agenda. And gays are being used as a political pawn to push a narrative, and they don't like it, and they shouldn't. So my appeal to the conservatives here is, let's become the party that, that takes in these refugees. You're already seeing the LGB alliance fracture off from the T's and Q's in some aspects. We have to be the party where everyone is treated the same. Okay. Gay conservatives are not gay conservatives. They're just conservatives. They happen to be gay, but that's just like everyone else. We need to take in these refugees because the left is going crazy and it's eating its own. Now, on to the worst covered story of the day. <sighs> Ukraine. This Ukraine scandal is so stupid. On ev Everything about it is stupid. Everyone involved in the Ukraine thing is so goddamn stupid. I can't believe I have to cover this again, and it's still in Canadian news. For months, we're going to be hearing about this, even though we never talked about SNC-Lavalin. Okay. Is there quid pro quo? Is there quid pro quo? Is there quid pro quo? And then Trump's saying, yeah, there is no quid pro quo. F Mulvaney was right when he did this, okay? Of course it's quid pro quo. This is how foreign politics work. Quid pro quo is you doing something, right? I wanted coffee today. I needed to get coffee. So what did I do? I exchanged a quid pro quo with Tim Hortons. I gave them money. They gave me coffee. The initial story was their quid pro quo to get specifically Biden because going after one, withholding aid to Ukraine specifically to undermine your political rival and get that's illegal, right? You can't quid pro quo something illegal, but you can quid pro quo something not illegal. Again, Uganda has a kill the gays law, literally titled kill the gays. If you say, we're going to withhold aid from Uganda until you get rid of the, uh, the kill the gays laws, that's a quid pro quo. This is a foreign policy work. We all used to know this. We all implicitly know this. And no one can even say this in CBC. And then the, the Trump White House can't even defend itself. No, there's no quid pro quo. Just come out and say, yes, it's a quid pro quo. We were withholding aid because there was generalized corruption in Ukraine. That's the exact same argument argument that Biden and Obama made when Biden is caught on fucking camera talking about the fact that, yeah, well, I with, withheld a billion dollars in aid to uh, to uh, Ukraine unless they fired the prosecutor. And I said, you got to get him. And we got him fired. And everyone's like, <laughs> okay, 
<sighs> stupid. It's so goddamn stupid. And we're just, oh, the whistleblower complaint and this and the Trump White House and we had someone changing the... Just, oh my God, everyone is so stupid and being so intentionally stupid that it's making our society even stupider. And I can't take it. And now it's affecting Canada. God damn it. Quid pro quo, it's... it's just, Everyone's lost their mind. Everyone's lost their goddamn mind over this one phrase. Okay? You cannot have a quid pro quo for something illegal. You can't have a quid pro quo for something legal. That's called life. That's called everyday life. And that's called standard foreign policy. You goddamn idiots. Idiots. Everyone's an, everyone in the media is an idiot. Everyone in, in, in the Democratic Party is an idiot. And now everyone in the Republican Party is an idiot. Everyone is so goddamn stupid they just can't say this out loud. And it's driving me nuts. It's driving me absolutely nuts. Another omission related to the story is, oh, whistleblowers, we've got to protect the whistleblowers. Trump's coming after the whistleblowers. We're whistleblower protection. Okay, today, we just learned out that CBC fired the leaker, the person they thought leaked the story about Epstein from ABC News. That's right. Two major media organizations conspired to cover up the, the Jeffrey Epstein thing now. Why is CBS, CBS doing this? Didn't they, wouldn't they want an edge over the competition? Wouldn't they say, no, we've, we've protected him and CBS because CBS, we believe in doing the news. And I even want some CNN to see if they'd cover this. No, it's just Trump, 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 whistleblower, blah, 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 blah. This is actually what whistleblower laws are meant to protect. This person who was fired from CBS, this is a violation of the Whistleblower Act. And the media's, oh, got to protect the whistleblowers, got to protect them. Unless they, unless they blow the whistle on us and we got to fire them and cover up the story. It's, it's maddening. It's absolutely maddening. Absolutely maddening. I don't even... Can we, can we, okay, on the Rosemary Barden scale, I gave today five Rosemary Bardens and five Anderson Coopers. No, I'm going to search the Don Lemons, because I, I think he's worse. So five Rosemary Bardens and five Don Lemons out of ten Rosemary Bardens for today's Rosemary Barden scale. Oh my God, if, if I hear another word about Trump and Ukraine on CBC, I think, I think we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to just, just storm, storm the office, because it's making everyone so effing stupid I cannot take it. Quid pro quo is just a fancy phrase for exchange. That's how foreign policy works. You idiots. You goddamn idiots. Anyways, that was a fun day. I will be back tomorrow for the worst of CBC News for November 8th.